my name is Philip Geary. I'm Associate Professor of Environmental Science at the University of Newcastle in Australia. I'm also the Assistant Dean of the Faculty with respect to international students and uh, one of the things I'm uh, talking about is the joint PhD research program that we have with UPM. Uh, that program has been in place now for nearly 12 months and it involves uh, students from UPM undertaking a program of study uh, at our university being jointly enrolled with the University of Newcastle and UPM. We uh, are particularly keen on that project, certainly my faculty is, in uh, that project is in offering uh, students who are uh, enrolled at UPM the opportunity to study with us for a period of time for the award of one PhD. Uh, that would embody uh, a period of uh, three or four years uh, full-time study as a research student on a project which is supervised uh, jointly by academic staff at UPM and the University of Newcastle. One of the benefits of the program is the fact that uh, if a student from UPM uh, enters that program then their tuition fees are waived while they're at the University of Newcastle. The uh, uh, project uh, would involve them studying with us for a minimum of one year and over that time they would need to meet our confirmation year requirements which would uh, basically then allow them to proceed uh, as, as any, any student would in our PhD program. So it's a stepping stone to the continuation of the research higher degree for the award of a PhD. One of the other benefits is the fact that uh, a student from UPM may not need to be away from Malaysia for the full length or duration of the PhD. In fact, it would allow them to uh, perhaps come and go, meeting our minimum requirements, but uh, also it would uh, usually involve some collaborative research between academics at UPM and the University of Newcastle. So, uh, as uh, Assistant Dean International, I'd, I'd like to commend that program to potential students. Uh, it does offer the opportunity, as I said, to study abroad, which has its own advantages in terms of uh, different cultural experience. Uh, to uh, study in another country is a, is a wonderful opportunity, and as I said, the tuition fees are waived for the duration of period of study at the University of Newcastle. My advice to potential students uh, would be to make sure that in preparing a proposal you meet the requirements of UPM because they will do the initial screening of the application but you also need to consult the various websites of the University of Newcastle in particular looking at the area of interest of study because uh, uh, one of the things is that it is important to have a, a student research high degree supervisor identified, someone who is working in the area that you're interested in. Uh, we will endeavour to find a supervisor and of course the program will require that a supervisor be located at both institutions. So uh, I would strongly advise students to do that uh, consultation work prior to preparing the application. It may also be necessary to modify the proposal if it's uh, reviewed by academics because most academics uh, will uh, be happy to supervise but typically in, usually in their uh, broad field of research. If it's in an area which clearly uh, cannot be supervised then the application will not be approved. So I think uh, as I've said uh, recently uh, students should do their homework and make sure that uh, their application is, is a good one because as I said I think there are potential benefits from the joint program for the award of one PhD but the opportunity to study at two uh, very good institutions.